Hello everybody, Alex also known as Solonis Dracone here, and uh, I'm just going to show how I'm making some quick PF points, or rather event points, in the current FOB mission to fight off the Skulls. Um, trying to hit six out of the seven optional things, uh, as you can see the seven optionals, well, the seven options are neutralize three security guards, neutralize one security guard with missiles, Fulton three security guards, infiltration successful, duh. Uh, within 300 seconds, a bit more challenging. Uh, addressing combat fatigues and equipment grade 5 or below. I don't think you're going to get 300 seconds with equipment grade 5 or below, so I'm just going for 6 out of 7. So let's go for it here. I'm going to go ahead and attack the base development platform. I like it because it's got a nice wide open area to attack the skulls from. And so let's go ahead and drop in on that shit. For my equipment, as you can see, I'm using a level 6 CGM 25. And I've got a level 5 right SMG that I've tooled up just a bit there. Uh, that's what the yellow next to the number means. That means that it has been uh, tooled up, it has been customized. Uh, honestly, the only important pieces of equipment here are the CGM25 and the Riot SMG, and we'll get into that shortly. So let's go ahead and set ourselves at invasion there. And hopefully things will be optimal. Okay, so as soon as we open up the chopper door, I'm going to switch to the Riot SMG. Perfect, and I'm not even going to wait for the fly around because they're just zombies on the platform there. It's not going to be, you know, no ranged attack means it's not that important to know where everything is. So, alright, we need to neutralize three security guards. Just gonna shoot them in the face with my high SMG and extract them. Because that's part of the goals there. Good, good, good. Just a little busy work. Ooh, there's three dudes there. I'll go ahead and just stun those. Now I'm switching to the CGM. And I've just rocketed one person, so that takes care of that objective. That. All right, now for the skulls. And the skulls, they're pretty reliable in their pattern. First one shows up, shoot it. The second one is going to show up a little bit to the right. There he goes. Then they're going to raise the thing. Don't even wait for a target. Shoot at the thing. And then there's one back there. And there you go. Oh, hey, what's up? Okay, so they changed it up just a little bit there. As you can see, I killed the fuck out of them. So hardcore, they're in the air. And I'm just... Yeah, you can't... It's really hard to get all four of them out if you're going for the 300. But let's just see how this turned out for us. We fought them off. Four, five... Aw, what did I miss? I'm pretty sure I killed a soldier. Maybe I missed killing a soldier with the rocket. Well, you know, I guess don't stun them all. Once they're neutralized, I guess they don't count as a kill with the rocket. But, you know, as long as you don't neutralize that one soldier you kill with the rocket, then you'll get the, uh, you get the credit for it. So, yep, we uh, failed to neutralize one security guard with the missile. That was my bad. I stunned all three. I should have shot at a live target. But, as you can see, uh, we got 11,342 total points out of that. And that uh, is very generous. That's that's more than you generally get. If you don't try to hit all the things, I was dressed in combat fatigues, just the olive drab naked version, uh, just for that extra bit, the 3200. As you can see, it didn't really become necessary because these guys didn't get much of a shot off. I mean, you know, one or two plinks, but not enough to kill me. So yeah, if you just uh, try to shoot four six out of the seven, you can get you know probably about 12,000 uh, PF points or event points, as it were. And of course, what you can buy with those event points is very nice. You can buy some very good soldiers. There's a new type of mine available. And yeah, that's that's just how I handled that one. It's not super pro AF. I don't know how you could possibly do it with, uh, with level five equipment and still manage to get the under 300 seconds. But that's how I does it. Thank you very much and goodbye.